What's up guys, AT here live at Bulldog Gear HQ for a little look at what goes on behind the scenes at Europe's leading equipment manufacturer. Let's take a look inside. Hey, Josh, you all right, mate? Hi, Steve. How are you? Not bad, not bad. Josh is the operations manager over here at the warehouse. Obviously, the majority of these products are manufactured in-house over at Fabrication. Once they're back from powder coating or galvanization and they make it to you, what's the process? What goes on in here? So here, one of the main parts is sort of quality control, make sure the product's up to the standard. Uh, we pride ourselves on being a premium product, so we've got to make sure that, obviously, uh, the product's up to the standard we uh, sell it for and we expect it to be at. Uh, then, obviously, when we're happy with the product, um, it's packaged, put online, and then obviously it's a case of just processing the orders that come through. During the COVID-19 pandemic with gyms closed, obviously there was a huge upsurge in people wanting home gym equipment. What were some of the challenges you faced during that time? Uh, so obviously we, we were extremely busy, uh, possibly might not have had the infrastructure at the time to deal with it, uh, but it was a case of recruit more staff to deal with the demand and obviously do it in a safety manner. And make sure you're maintaining that sort of high, high quality, quali yeah, yes, quality yes. control. So it was yeah. challenging, but... Um, yeah, we got there in the end and obviously nice. we came out uh, of the pandemic in a much stronger and better position. Speaking of quality control and premium products, this is one of my favourite Bulldog Gear products, the Atlas Ball. Uh, previously, when I was travelling in the event industry, I took one of these with me absolutely everywhere. I lived in the back of a van or outside and I've thrown one of these around on airfields in warehouses like this and hotel car parks up and down the country. I honestly believe they're absolutely indestructible. We can find out. A large proportion of this kit is actually manufactured right here in Stafford. We're going to head over to Fabrication now and check out where some of that happens. We're over at Fabrication. Fun fact, this is actually the original warehouse where it all started for Bulldog Gear over 10 years ago. Now it's used for in-house manufacturing of some of our products, such as rigs, racks, and more specialist products for commercial gyms. I'm with Kieran, one of the founders of Bulldog Gear. You've been in business for over 10 years now. In that time, what's the biggest change in the culture that you've noticed? Uh, so I think one of the biggest ones is probably uh, the knowledge that's available out there. Um, so I think 10 years ago, I think equipment's come a long way in terms of uh, quality uh, and the price points become a lot uh, more competitive. So actually it's for a grassroots, they can get really good equipment at a good price. Um, and I actually think in terms of knowledge of movements, like what movements you need to be doing, um, and a lot more uh, in terms of sleep. So uh, in general wellness, so in terms of sleep, nutrition, uh, how to program, I think is becoming a really important thing. Um, so not only what's the right movements to get the right endocrine response uh, and right training stimulus, but then how do we program for that, uh, you know, with micro and macro cycles. Um, so what we're really seeing is the knowledge from the elite is becoming more democratised and that's really exciting for me. So Joe Boggs down the gym, if you think when we were younger, you're messing around on machines, you didn't really know how to programme. So I'd be like, oh, three sets of 15, which still has a place. But, um, you know, there's a lot more there of, you know, you've got Wendler, um, you know, five, three, one, um, loads of different things in gymnastics programming, mobility programming. So that whole sort of ecosystem of multiple disciplines that, multi, uh, you know, that are multifaceted, uh, are all coming together and I think uh, allowing people to have 
you know, a high performance lifestyle. Yeah, the, the consumer is much more educated now versus like 10 years ago. Yeah. I think the consumer now probably knows more than a lot of industry professionals did 10 yeah. years ago. And, right? and it's the internet, you know, yeah. there's that drive on the internet of, you know, and there's lots of different sports, but CrossFit definitely democratized movement standards. There's definitely things that were, weren't great about it. But, um, you know, I was, I was a CrossFit, I had a CrossFit gym, um, you know, it's, it's definitely helped um, democratise everything, which I think is, you know, if, if that's one positive to take away, I think that's, that's huge. Yeah, yeah. With Ian Thomas, the other founder of Bulldog Gear. Ian, what's one of the biggest challenges you face as one of Europe's leading kit manufacturers? Uh, tough question. Um, I'd arguably say it's a competitive market whereby keeping your morals, but being price sensitive is, is difficult when you know there's other people out there that maybe if they're not making their product or they've never been to where their product's made, there's a reason why some things are cheap and some things aren't. So when you're trying to sell a premium product and you're trying to get that point across, it is difficult sometimes. Like some people will look at a kettlebell as a kettlebell, but there's, a, there's still a big difference between why some things are made somewhere and some aren't. And it's difficult to get that across to a consumer. Um, weight is weight at the end of the day. Yeah. But for me, yeah, keep keeping keeping your product quality high and your price is appropriate is probably the biggest challenge yeah. in a market that is. And, and kind of educating the consumer that there's a reason that you... It's a number one thing for us, I suppose, at the moment is, is we focus on trying to educate a consumer to try and give them that, that understanding behind why products are a certain way and why we deliver it in the way that we do. And that's why we try and put a, a real emphasis on, on educating customers in whatever way we can to try and give them that understanding as to what they're buying and why it's important. Guys, hope you like having a little look behind the scenes of Bulldog Gear HQ. If you did, make sure you hit like, hit subscribe, and be sure to join us next time in a special location with a special guest talking all things Winter Olympics.